I know you guys are probably looking at my hair, you know, but that has nothing to do with you guys liking. Subscribe and comment down below. Get us into the algorithm. Peace. I said peace. Well, somebody requested me to watch this video. What is this? What is this? Oh my god! It's probably been two years since I could use a normal toilet. Okay, wait, time out. That's not his. That's covered. That's clothes on his. On his. On his. On his private part. That's not his skin, chat. Chat, that is not his skin. That's why it's blocked off. They're blocking off the top part, and this is clothes. What is this? Let's watch this. It's not TOS because nothing is showing. They're blocking off this and they're blocking off that and the, the middle part is closed. For the last seven years, his testicle sack has been growing uncontrollably. Oh, shit. See, this is cool having big balls. Seriously, like respect. Like, you know, like, man, that's a testicle right there. That's crazy. Like, this motherfucker got two big testicle. That's crazy. <laughs> Holy shit. How's your day going? It's made me a prisoner in my own body. It's like carrying a ball and Jane. The best way I could describe the weight for someone, if they're trying to imagine it in their head, um, would be to slit open your scrotum and put in three large bowling balls and sew it back up. Holy heavy, shit, man. How does he take a piss? This is oh. where I have to uh, go to urinate. When it was smaller, I could lift it onto the toilet and pee into the toilet. But when it got bigger, there was always a chance that it'd make a mess. So it was just easier to pee into the uh, shower stall and then rinse it down with the water. Well, it's probably been two years since I could use a normal toilet to urinate. Oh my God, like, you know, thank God I'm born with a small cock. Like, alhamdulillah, like, thank God for everything, you know? See, this is why God didn't want to give me a, a, like a huge zock, like, because maybe something like this would have happened to me, you know? Dan relies on Mindy for all his needs. Dan has become a prisoner of his own body, and I've, I've become a prisoner with him. In a desperate attempt to slow down the scrotum's growth, Mindy and Dan wrap the mass in compression bandages. We use the bandages to try to stop it growing further, but we also use the bandage bandages to try to, like, break it up a little bit so it might get smaller. Respect, like she's always covering her his bull sack, you know. And like, I'm not sure if she receives cock. I'm not trying to be disrespectful right here, because like, like, you know, she probably suffocate. But like, you know, like, respect taking care of the bull sack as well. But Dan's life hasn't always been like this. Ooh, look at that one. <laughs> his parents remember a time when he was just like any other son. Remember when you were normal? Like, who does that? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, what are you guys doing to him? He probably feels like shit looking at these. This, his mom is showing him pictures like, remember when you were normal? Like, look at this one. Like, what? Like, what are you doing? What are you, that, that, that makes him feel like a dickhead. Like, I was always doing something, always moving. <laughs> a fact. That's Cap. Like, I'm sorry, ma'am, but like, I understand. Like, who's that in the picture? Because I know it's not him. Like, I'm sick of the capity. Like, I'm not trying to be a dickhead, but come on. I had no idea that this would have ever happened to my son. If I could have traded places with him, I would have. What, you want to have a fucking 80 pound bull sack attached to you now? Come on, woman. We went out for like a little romantic hotel getaway and um, down in his uh, scrotal area, it seemed puffy, more puffy than normal. But it was, it was small enough, so we just kind of wrote it off as, you know, him being heavy, and he said he thought he'd just lose some weight and it would just go away. But things didn't get better. And over the course of a year, Dan scrotum... Up... Holy shit. Like, that's like a fucking soccer ball, bro. Not even like a beach ball. Like, my God. Alhamdulillah, man. Thank God. Like, thank God for everything. ...grew to the size of a coconut. Basically, I just tried to wear longer shorts to uh, help cover the fact that it was getting bigger and bigger and probably went out less and less terrified he visited his local physician in search of answers but nobody could help we went to our doctor he was completely baffled he'd never seen anything like it he said you're fat and there's really nothing we can do until you lose at least you know 100 150 pounds so after um <laughs> he looked him dead in the eye and said you're fat and uh, lose some weight buddy oh shoot exercising and it was growing larger 
I realized at that point it really didn't matter how much weight I lost. It was growing faster than I could lose the weight. Exercise didn't work, and seven years after first seeking medical help, Dan's scrotum has swollen to massive proportions. His penis and testicles remain normal size, but they are engulfed deep within the gigantic sac. Holy shit, that's... So he can't even rock. Like, his penis is like a snake in the cave, bro. <laughs> it's not even attacking anymore. That sucks. Walking just a short distance is painful for Dan, so the only exercise he gets is in the local pool. It's also one of the few things he can still do with Mindy. Going out and doing things was a huge part of our relationship. We'd camp, we'd go canoeing, go to another city, always on the go. You know, these are all things that I can't do anymore. Sexual intimacy for the couple has also become a thing of the past. The last time that we had um, marital relations was on March 19th, 2006. Damn, she's keeping count. Like, that sucks. Like, ma'am, you deserve to, like, you could cheat on him. Like, I said it. Like, it's valid. It's valid at this point because, like, she needs some Zoc. Like, that's not fair. You know? Like, that's not fair. Like, she takes care of him. She, like, does all this for him. Like, you could cheat on him. Like, I said it. I think it's an underlining strain that this has put on our relationship. You know, it's one of those things where, you know, you don't want to think about it. But it's definitely there. When you make a commitment, it's important to stick with it. The wedding vows are in sickness and in health, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer. So I guess this is a sickness and health part. I'm not gonna lie, she's a good woman. Like most people would have hella dipped back then and not gave a shit about him. But unable to find a diagnosis for the mysterious condition, Dan fears Mindy's patience could soon wear out. If she needed to take care of that urge, who am I to stop her, you know? I can't fulfill that need, you know? I know she loves me more than anything, but there is human nature, too. If he can't find help soon, Dan fears for his life and his marriage. This growth has come between us, and I like to have it removed before it's too late. So what happened? Like, did he get it removed? Like... You go out with the idea it may never come back. So to be home is like... I made it home. After being in California for over two months, Dan Maurer is glad to be back in Michigan. He's over 100 pounds lighter and excited to be wearing shorts. Wait, does he have no balls now? Like, I'm not even trying to be funny, but like, this, that's it? Like. All right, guys, if you guys are watching this, you know what I'm saying? Click the subscribe button down here. Now to the video to the left, that is a previous video. You might want to check that out. Fire ass shit in there to the right. You're gonna have to see for yourself. Make sure you sub down below. Fans. I said fans.